milestone, quite literally. Well, not one mile. But uh, we've wired this up, right, with uh, a bit of primitive electrics. So we've got that's a reverser. So forward and backwards. And then what it is is a connected two battery. So we had 24 volts, roughly, on this. And you can see it's been out. Hey, eh? And uh, what I did is I took it out on one battery and I got like walking speed, sort of four or five miles an hour at the most, down there. Right, but then I put a second battery on it to make it 24 volts and it went right down as far as you can see. Where that light is just now, the white light, some car coming there, right? That's where it was, it came down there, right? And then back here and it, I drove it in with no extra effort. Right, and I took this guy out just to measure the distance. I just rode it round because it's got a, a digital Milo and it measured 0.3 miles. So this did 0.3 miles, right? And it didn't seem like that the batteries were dying. <coughs> there was still plenty of kick in them. So, but even that, a minimum distance of 0.3 miles and it was going at about 10 miles an hour. I wouldn't say it was, it would, it would, it, I don't think it was much slower than that because I drove that and it, I drove that at 10 miles an hour and it felt about the same speed basically. So we're going at about 10 miles an hour, right? Now bearing in mind, right, that that's just on half the voltage the, the motor's intended for and it was doing, you know, I'd say 10 miles an hour, it'd be fair. So if we had the full battery, uh, voltage for that which is 48 volt 44 volts the motor is a 44 volt motor but we'd put four car batteries on it and that would be somewhere between sort of like 45 and 80 48 probably then yeah we're looking at, at at least 20 miles an hour I would say more I would say it'd probably do 30 because when it was going along on one battery it was almost stopping you know, and it was like it was going between sort of one and five miles an hour. But when I put two batteries in, I had to back it off. It would have, I'm sure it was quite happily going up, you know, if I'd let it go and let it continue, it may have gone up to sort of 12 or 15 miles an hour. So I think that, you know, we're not talking about much more, but I think it'll probably reach 30 when it's got a full battery complement. And obviously it'll go a reasonable distance. I mean, it's going to go, that's 0.3. I would say it's quite happy to go half a mile on just two batteries <clears throat> right you know that that round trip there and back about you know I would say that before it started losing the power you, you're talking at least half a mile out of it which sounds a bit rubbish half a mile but that's bearing in mind you're just running on two 12 volt batteries <laughs> yeah right so if I put four on then you're talking a mile aren't you really <clears throat> so it'd do a mile on four batteries yeah but I don't know how far it'll actually go on two batteries because I didn't take it until they were flat and I took it out on one first uh, that would have been what a quarter of the distance wouldn't it uh, but it, it was out for the same amount of time draining the battery you know <laughs> so I would say y y you may you may get a mile out of it on two batteries which means you, you're looking at sort of two miles on a full set of four car batteries. Now car batteries are not intended to power this. This is for deep cycle lead acid batteries. And they're very large ones as well, sort of, you know, 300 amp hour upwards <laughs> originally. I think the original ones were something like three to 400 amp hour. And uh, I'm looking at a pack which is, uh, either, is, is either 300 or 800 amp hour. Which means we'll get a considerable amount of range out of it. You know, car batteries that I'm talking about, they're taken out of other cars, so they've seen quite a bit of life already, but we're talking 40 amp hour. That's what I'm sort of guessing they're at. Those are the batteries there. 40 amp hour, right? Well, I'm talking about putting something in to make this go, which is going to be 10 times that. So if I can get, you know, two two miles maybe even three miles out of it on on just um you know four car batteries then the proper proper lead acid cells which are two volt cells a, a 44 volt pack would take it you know 20 to 30 miles you know which is a decent range that'll take me that'll take me to town and drive around a bit and come back again 
you know, that's plenty. It's not going to go much further, but it will do that. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. I mean, I'm going to wire, I've got to still put the U-bolts in. I'll try and get some from Wix, but Wix don't do them. Don't do U-bolts. Who doesn't do U-bolts? Ooh, hardware. Anyway, so I've still got to tie it down. Plus, I want to... The reversing is good. I'll keep the reversing relay set in. Because it's a series wound, so it's a, a bit of an odd way of doing it. But um, what happened is it, it's melted through. <laughs> the this <laughs> where it was clamped on so I'll get some proper wire on the job because I've got the uh, the motor itself is it, it takes I think up to 100 amps now starter cables are really only supposed to take about 30 but the stuff that I will put on it is going to be this sort of stuff you see that's 130 amp wire so I'll put that on it right and then I'll wire it up properly and we'll make a proper uh, battery pack set. So we're not going to have fires in the back or anything. But yeah, I mean, it, 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 because it was a clacker, basically, I've got, what I've done is I, I wired up the relays to uh, push buttons. The batteries aren't on them now, but that one's forward, I think that's the reverse one, and there's the other black one down there, which is forward. And that was it, I just got forward and backward, and you had to pulse it to get sort of partial power. And the thing was jolting around a bit, and it felt like the old milk flow that it came out of. Because that tended to jolt a bit, it was stepped. So I'm going to get a proper PWM circuit on it. We'll get the uh, IGBTs on the job. And we'll make up our PWM circuit that can run on 40 odd volts. And also, uh, I was thinking about a 300 amp hour battery, but I can also use this. Because this has 38 cells at 7.2 volts. But if I wire them in sets of 6, then that's, well, 6, 7 to 42. It's 7.2 volts, so it's, it's going to be about 44 volts, right? So 6 of those is 44 volts, which is the motor voltage. And I've got 38, well, 6 6 is a 36, so I've got two left over. Cell packs are 6.5 amp hour. So I'll be able to make 6 packs out of that. Each one will be 6.5 amp hour and 40, you know, some, somewhere around 40, 42 volts, 44 volts. Right, so six six is a thirty six plus the th the halves that's thirty nine so I'll have thirty nine amp power, which means that is the same <laughs> as those four, so it does you know I'm not quite sure about that, you know because <laughs> they're smaller <laughs> but heavier anyway, so I can use that, but I'd have to rig up a, a different kind of charger on it. I'll have to use my h v charger to get that working. But yeah, that's a success. We have a milk float van. <laughs> so I'm going to call it a day now because it's uh, late. So I'm going to get off. Yeah, I'm happy about that.